boys and girls. Today we're going to be working on comparing teen numbers. We're actually going to be working on it all week. So as a review, last week and the week before the last two weeks, we were working with our teen numbers and different ways to make those teen numbers. We worked all the way with our numbers 11 through 19, those teen numbers, and we even got to work with the number 20. So today we're going to work on comparing those teen numbers. But before we get started really comparing the numbers, we have to look at the vocabulary, the special words that we're going to use when we compare teen numbers. To, so today our focus is going to be learning the vocabulary for the word greater than. That's the special word that we are going to be focusing on today. And then later in the week, we'll look at less than and equal to. So greater than, if a group or number is greater than another, it means that it is larger. So I like to say greater than means more. And we put our hands out and make them large and big because if it's greater than, it's large and big. If a group or number is greater than another, it means larger. Greater than is more. So look at the two groups below. We have the blue birds and we have the yellow birds. So which group has the greater number? We want to make sure that we're using that word greater. So let's count the bluebirds. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see six bluebirds and let's count the yellow birds. One, two, three, four. I see four blue, yellow birds. So which one is greater? Which one has more? Let's see, which one is the larger number? If you said six, you were right. The number of bluebirds is greater than the number of yellow birds. When we say six is greater than four. Can you say that, boys and girls? Excellent job. I like how I can hear you using that vocabulary greater. So let's do some practice. Which set of objects is greater and how do you know? So here we have some ladybugs and we have some bees. Let's practice counting our ladybugs to start. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen ladybugs. Let's see how many bees we have over here. Notice I'm touching and counting each one to make sure that I count them correctly using my touch and count strategy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. So we have 15 ladybugs and 11 bumblebees. So now we have to decide which one is greater, which one has more. So I know in class when we're working on numbers less than t numbers, we would line them up and give them all a partner. And then the one that had more or extra, the ones that didn't have a partner, we knew that that group was greater than because that had more. So which one has more? Which one is a larger number? That will tell us which one is greater than. Can you shout out which one you think is greater than? Yes, you are right. The number of ladybugs is greater than the number of bees. So we use our sentence frame and we say 15 is greater than 11. Let's do another practice. Which set of objects is greater and how do you know? So we have these yellow Easter eggs over here. And we have these purple Easter eggs over here. So we, the first thing we need to do is count them. So I'm going to touch and count them to see how many 
yellow eggs there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I counted thirteen yellow eggs. And can you count the purple ones with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We have seventeen purple eggs. So now we know there are thirteen yellow eggs and seventeen purple eggs, and we have to decide which one is greater. And again, what does that word greater mean, boys and girls? Right, it means that it's larger or that it's more. And I hope I can see your hands nice and big to help us remember that's more, it's larger. That's what that special word greater than means. So which one is greater than, the 13 or the 17? If we gave them all a partner, which one would have the extras? Hmm, let's see. Right, the number of purple eggs is greater than the number of yellow eggs. There are four extra purple eggs if we gave them a partner. So we use our sentence frame and we say, 17 is greater than 13. Can you say it with me? 17 is greater than 13. Excellent job, boys and girls. Let's do another practice. Which set of objects is greater and how do you know? So we have our giraffes and our lions. What's the first thing we need to do? Yes, I hope you said count them. So let's do a touch and count and count all of the giraffes. Here we go. One, count with me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 giraffes. Now let's count the lions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen lions. So we have 14 giraffes and 16 lions. So now we have to decide which one is greater, which one is more, okay? So we see we have five on the top of each, so we could give those each a partner, and then on the next row we have five of each, but in, in the next row, uh-oh, are they all going to have a partner? What do you think? I think you're right. There are more lions. There's going to be extra lions. So then we know that that 16, the lions are what? Great. They are greater than. So let's say it together. The number of lions is greater than the number of giraffes. Can you say that by yourself? Very good. So now let's use our sentence frame with our numbers to say 16 is greater than 14. Say it with me. 16 is greater than 14. I love to hear you saying your sentence frame, boys and girls, using our vocabulary of the word greater than. Great job. Thank you.